Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Saturday, March 28th, 2020. It is 5.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is a quick check-in on how I'm dealing with the coronavirus. At the same time, I am dealing with my schizophrenia. Things are going pretty good. Um, keeping myself busy by doing my daily schedule, um, continuing to do my work online. I do consumer surveys for extra money online. Um, I keep up an exercise routine. I make videos like this. Um, I write poetry. I do whatever I can to just stay busy. Um, I keep my personal hygiene up. I shave, shower, um, brush my teeth. I mean, these things sound simple and they are simple and they go a long way in making you feel better when you're under stress gives you a sense of normalcy and um, continuity. Um, it's important to do your laundry, keep your apartment clean, your house, the room you live in, keeping it clean. Um, all these little things go a long way in making you feel stable, healthy, clean. Um, I guess on Friday, today, Saturday, the U.S. Congress finally passed a $2 trillion um, stimulus bill. And there's a lot of things in it. Um, but basically, every American who makes less than $75,000 is guaranteed $1,200, delivered in about three weeks or more. Depends. They might do direct deposit for those taxpayers who have direct deposit. And they will mail checks to people who do do not. Um, that three week thing that's kind of up in the air right now. It's hard to say if they'll hold to that, if it'll be sooner or later than that. Um, the Treasury Department, I should say, I'm sorry, the IRS is in charge of giving out these payments. Um, if you're on Social Security Disability, Social Security Retirement, or Supplemental Security Income (SSI), um, you will also be getting a check, even if you did not file. A tax return for 2019 or 2018. I believe if you're a married couple, you get $2,400 plus $500 for every child you have under the age of 17. So those stimulus checks will be coming. Um, if you're on Social Security of any kind and you haven't filed an income tax return, they'll use your Social Security forms um, that the Social Security Administration gives you every year. I believe that's a 1099 form. It's a statement of what your Social Security income was, and they will use that for deciding what your check amount is going to be and where they are going to send it. Um, Social Security is not going to be dispersing the money. Like I said, it's coming from the IRS. So if you haven't filed an income tax and you're on Social Security Disability, you will get a check. Um, probably in the mail. So um, it's raining out here right now in Rochester, kind of dismal weather. But like I said, I'm trying to keep to my schedule, try to keep exercising, try to stay busy. I watch a lot of Netflix. Hold on a uh, Sorry about that. I was cooking something in the oven. I didn't want it to burn. Um, uh, like I said, it's important to keep, stay busy, stay clean, stay healthy, wash your hands a lot, use hand sanitizer if you have it. But washing your hands goes a long way in protecting you from coronavirus or spreading it to other people. Um, in New York State, we're still supposed to stay indoors as much as possible, although a lot of people are not following that advice. Um, a lot of local businesses in Rochester are closed, like restaurants, bars, and other businesses. Um, where I am, some businesses that are consider, considered essential services are still open. Um, for example, food stores, grocery stores are still open. Um, that includes grocery stores like Wegmans or Dollar General. Dollar General does sell food, so they're considered essential. Um, laundromats um, are still open in New York State. Those are considered essential services because um, a lot of people don't have washers and dryers like I don't, and I need to wash my clothes at the laundromat. Um, there's a whole list of businesses that are considered essential services, 
and those that are not are probably closed down. For example, I smoke cigarettes and I buy tobacco at a local tobacco shop. I doubt that that tobacco shop is gonna be open. It's probably already closed during the duration of this crisis because buying tobacco is not considered an essential service. Um, so I'm just hanging out, doing the best I can, staying busy, trying to stay well, trying to keep my hands clean, myself clean, um, social distancing. And as far as my schizophrenia goes, there's not a whole lot of symptoms going on with that. Some anxiety from isolation, some paranoia, but I'm not violent, I'm not suicidal, and I'm pretty stable mentally, pretty lucid at this point. So I guess that's all for now. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and press that little bell button. Because um, even if you're prescribed, I'm prescribed. Even if you're subscribed to me, you might not get notifications that I put out a new video. So uh, subscribe, definitely. But also hit that notification bell. And that way, every time I make a new video, you will be told. So I'll talk to you later.